Welcome everybody, my name is Seth Derbis. This is 93 Drive and today we're driving the 2023 Toyota GR Corolla with an inline three turbocharged intercool producing 300 horsepower and 273 pounds of torque and it'll get it from 0 to 60 in just 4.9 seconds and it'll cross the quarter mile at 13.3 at 105 miles an hour for a car weighs a little bit over 3,200 pounds. So with that being said, let's see what this Toyota GR has to offer. So let's get this show on the road. All right, let's get inside the Corolla GR. Here we go. Up on in. Clutch pedal down. Push button start. All right, she's got a little barble. Yep, she is alive. Yeah, temperature. Climate control, pretty simple. Then you look down here, you have your mode selector. And you go over here, and you can see what it's doing. Sports, you got different display on the tachometer. And you can go, you can customize that if you like. Then you go to normal. Different display, and then you got eco. Stays, display stays the same. Steering wise, it's pretty simple controls, very intuitive. And then down here is where you select exactly what you want to do, where you want the power to go to. So on the dashboard, let's go back there, put it on sport, and then as you can see right here, it says 60 40. So 60% of the power is going to the front wheels and 40 to the back. Now if you select it, now you have 30% to the front and 70% to the back. So if you want to go ahead and drift and burn out, that's the best setting. And then you have, you push it, the button down, it goes into track and that gives you a 50-50 uh, drive, uh, drive mode. So you have a 50 in the front, 50 in the back, producing the power. So, We'll put it back into 60-40 for now. And as you can see, everything is pretty pretty simple. The reverse is kind of interesting. You have to pull this lever up, and then you go to the left, and then you go up, and then that's how you get it into reverse. Otherwise, it won't go. Otherwise, it just goes straight into first. So, there you go. Materials, you know, seats are okay. Uh, obviously, it is a Corolla, so there's a little bit of plastic. So let's check out the back space. I'm 5'7. Let's see. It's not bad. I mean I have a little bit of room, so it's not too crap. I have plenty of room on the on the on the ceiling. So uh, yeah, a little plasticky. But like I said, it is a corolla after all. So let's go see how she drives. Alright, here we go. Driving the GR. Nice little growl from the engine for that inline three. The clutch is really easy to to uh, maneuver with. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so far, we're driving it down here to a location. The stick shift was pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of long throw from first to second, I've noticed. But other than that, uh, let's see. Yeah, not bad at all. She likes to boogie, that's for sure. We got on 3070, so we got 70% uh, of the power going to the back, 30 to the front. 
Uh, you know, one of the things that I want to test this car because this car stands in line right next to the Golf R and the Honda Type R. This one is a slight hint quicker to 60 and they all have about the same amount of power regarding horsepower and torque. Uh, this is an all-wheel drive system. Uh, you can't spec it out to have a limited slip differentials in the front and in the back. There's three versions of this car. It is the um, base model, then you have a premium, then they have a circuit, circuit uh, version of it. Um, so this seems to be a, pretty much a little bit of the base. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles. It would be nice if it had a sunroof because it wouldn't feel as claustrophobic. But then again, if it did have a sunroof, it would add more weight. So it's best for it to not if you're going to use it on a track. But other than that, she drives pretty smooth. Uh, yeah, the controls are very simple. Nothing crazy. The infotainment system is pretty basic. So let's get her down to location and see what she is like from a standstill. All right, for all the beans, all the marbles, we got a 3070. Fun. Yep, she's pretty quick. And I have to say, there was no turbo lag whatsoever. We got in third, hammer down. Yeah. Not bad. It is a quick quick little car it gripped on immediately uh, there was no turbo lag whatsoever and it just went through the gears very very smoothly yeah. it likes to rev uh, let's cool it before we talk to Johnny Law we know we don't need to speak to him yeah so far so good pretty impressive little engine i have to say i'm impressed that this car produces this much power from an inline turbocharge i mean it is pretty impressive let's go around twisty see what she's like all right let's see how she hands around these turns Pretty smooth, pretty flat. Yep, not bad at all. Got a little traffic, so let's head. He'll turn around a little bit and trust it again. It's very, very easy to drive. Look how she does around here. Stays planted. No drama. Gives you the confidence you want. Yep. Simply, simply drop it a gear. Not bad at all. Yep. She handles pretty well. All right, let's head back and do final thoughts. All right, so what is GR? Well, GR stands for Gazoo Racing, and it's Toyota's Worldwide Racing Division. That's where that GR comes from. Um, things about this car, I, I think it's a lot of fun. It really, truly is a lot of fun. Um, being that it's a Toyota, you do, uh, you know, it'll probably last a while um, because if you compare it to, let's say, if you compare it to the Volkswagen R, you know, you will have some very expensive repairs if something goes wrong with that one. Uh, and then if you have the Civic Type R, same thing in the lines of the Toyota, they're, they're going to be extremely reliable. Um, and seeing that this car is just a hint quicker. 
Uh, yeah, it's great, but you know, overall, uh, I think they could have come up with a better name. The Corolla name stands for that always economy car, and I think that gives it a little point down in regards to that. Uh, if you tell people, oh, I just got a GR Corolla, people say, what? Yeah, exactly. So, at that point, I'll just give it a couple points down. Uh, quality inside, it's exactly that. It is, part, it is a Corolla. It's a very simple car. doesn't have any real bells and whistles. Um, but I know that as this car ages, I'm sure people are going to pick it up and they're going to tune the living hell out of it. And I'm sure they're going to lower bigger wheels, bigger turbos, and it'll make it quite entertaining. Um, yeah, the materials and stuff, yeah, it's a little plasticky, but you know, at the end of the day, if you if you had a bit of a bit more luxurious, it would really add, add more to the price of the car. The base model starts at thirty-seven thousand dollars or so, and then the um, circuit version of it is at forty-six thousand dollars. That is a lot of money for a Corolla. I don't care uh, what you say, but it's still a lot of money. And let's be realistic: this car doesn't even come close to the fuel economy that you have always expected from a Corolla uh, with a combined maybe of 20 miles to a gallon because whoever buys this car or buys these cars you know you're gonna run them you're gonna run them hard because that is the purpose of it and um, but to say that I, I it's really nice to see that the hatchback fun cars are around i mean we have all these electric cars and they're all great you know and they go from zero to 60 in like 2.2.5 seconds and up you know it's 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 crazy but to have at least cars like this even impressive enough this inline three was 300 horsepower and three and 273 pounds of torque and can also be calibrated to 295 pounds of torque it's pretty impressive you have to admit and uh, the fun factor is there as well. So with that, I give it a lot of, um, yeah, uh, big thumbs up. But you know, it's still you know a forty, forty, forty-five thousand dollar car with a, not a lot of bells and whistles. So you know, it is what it is. But it sure is entertaining. And I came with, uh, yeah, we drove the uh, GTI, and I love the GTI. And the quality material of the GTI was much much more superior than this one but obviously that is a German car you expect that I have not been in a type R um, lately although the new ones do look much better than the old ones the old ones have those fake scoops everywhere but the new one looks much better um, there are a lot of fake scoops in this car which is nice to see so there you have it it sure is entertaining if you want something fun entertaining that is uh, reminds you back of the old hatchbacks of the old days this is this definitely should be on your list thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for do subscribe you know give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends and more importantly if you have not turned on that notification bell on ding what are you waiting for make sure you comment I appreciate it have a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next video very very soon